entrepreneur enter into a new market, it of course can create risks for the incumbents, can't it? And I know you've been looking at, very topical today because we're talking about the grocery industry, yeah. you've been looking at Tesco and some of the risks around not changing your business model quickly enough to, to adapt to that new level of competition. Well, indeed, I really feel that the work that we do looking at um, uh, startup businesses, and I don't mean baby businesses, I mean fast-growing technology-enabled businesses. So some of our companies have 5 to 10 million sterling, but they're private and we call them startups. But fundamentally, these technology startups give you an indication on where every industry is going. So the micro, the business model is changing in this digital exponential world that we live in. And if the board of Tesco had been really paying attention to what's happening in the retail tech micro business model sector, they would have understood margins are going to decrease. We're going to have hopefully a, um, a smaller piece of an expanding pie. Why? Because consumer data is the new entrant to every business model from financial services to retail to healthcare and so forth, right? And so fundamentally to keep on telling the city, it's the same thing. Margins are great. Growth is strong, right? It's business as usual. Tesco, its winning model has just continued to churn out. They weren't paying attention to change. And that fundamentally comes down to what, you know, Darwin said, what his definition of fit was, um, uh, you, you know, the, the ability to adapt, right? It's not just strong. It's not coming up with the winning business model or, or model. Model. It's the ability to adapt to the conditions at hand. And fundamentally, I think Tesco was not doing that. There was a group of people that said, we got it. We got the, the bullet.